Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the bald explorer, out on another walk with Nick Tan, songwriter and performer. Nick has kindly agreed to take me to Winnell Moors in Winchester in Hampshire. This video was recorded with live sound, but alas, the file became corrupt and was lost, hence the voiceover that you're hearing now. I hope it doesn't mar your enjoyment of the presentation too much. Winnow Moors are reed beds and former water meadows along the River Itchin. It's now a protected nature reserve, and I noticed as we entered the delightful oak-carved gateway that no dogs were allowed. The trail is set out for the visitor along a combination of gravel paths and boardwalks set up above the water where a diverse range of plant life grows, as we shall see. It's winter as we record our visit, early February in fact, and spring is yet upon us. But the trees have been busy preparing and saving energy, growing buds in readiness for the spring explosion. And I can't wait. What you'll see is managed wild land, not the Coford landscaping, the like of which Lancelot Capability Brown would have set out for you in the 18th century. We are stepping back in time to the Middle Ages, when much of England's wetlands was like this. The nearby Winchester monks of the Cathedral Priory and the lay people supporting them, they would have worked the land, flooding meadows in the winter months to thaw out the frost and the snow, and the same in the summer months to keep the grasses lush and green and suitable for their cattle and sheep grazing upon them. This was done by a series of dikes or channels across the land and then a whole load of sluices that kept the water under control. Winnell Moors is now managed by the Hampshire and Isle of Wight Wildlife Trust. I looked them up on their website. Part of their ambition is to ensure a better future for our wildlife, grasslands, woodlands and wetlands, not just in Winchester but all over Hampshire. Rather than focusing on one species or habitat, they say, they're thinking big and working to improve and protect entire landscapes. A mighty challenge, I should think, but a worthwhile one, and one much supported by interested parties and the public at large, who, on the whole, have unlimited access to them. This site is open not just to wildlife enthusiasts, but also to school parties and educators. And what an opportunity it is to learn about diverse species in one environment. Nick told me about a flower that was only found here and a butterfly that fed off that flower, which was also unique to Winnell Moors. Diversity on a micro scale indeed. So what might you expect to see when you visit? I guess that depends on what time of the year you go, but I read you could see kingfishers, scarlet tiger moths and the marsh marigold. Then there's other wetland flowers such as ragged robin, march valerian and comfrey. There's plenty of sedges, rushes and yellow flag iris which mark the former water meadow ditches. The Water Vole Trail offers you the chance to watch water voles in the slow-moving streams. You'll find them, the free leaflet you can download from their website tells me, along the bank margins, busily feeding or gathering plant material for their burrows. And if you look up in the winter, you may hear flocks of bright yellow siskins in the trees, feeding on alder cones. Of course, the key is to take your time and be patient. It does take time to adjust your eyes to the ways of nature. In this short walk, we didn't have that time to pause for too long. But hopefully you will, and gain a better experience. It's only when you get out into these wildlife habitats are you reminded that there is an amazing array of wild living things in this world besides man and his smartphones, motor cars, noisy bustling cities and the mad, stressful rat race. 
Apart from anything else, even if you fail to catch a glimpse of a rare butterfly or a protected, lesser-spotted toad, you can sit down at one of the wooden benches and drink in the peace and quiet of the place and escape the general hubbub and pace of our modern breakneck speed world. It goes without saying that revisiting during different seasons is equally rewarding as the landscape subtly changes. Well, I shall leave you to enjoy the rest of the video without me burbling on and play out with some of Nick Tan's delightful music. Check him out on his website. You might like it. And I will see you on the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.